When that seed drops, this one plant will now produce hundreds, if not a thousand other plants that you have to deal with. So that's really the, the main reason why we're really concerned with seed. So I wanna make sure I do this the right way. Clip it, it grabs it, right? You can see the petals are falling, but, um, and we can put it in the bag. If I didn't have this, this is something that one of our crew members developed. It's pretty simple. It's some piping, you know, and uh, a hoop. And it allow, it replaces having to have a person there standing to hold the bag open. Uh, you can also do this with a peg, bag laying on the ground. Uh, so let me just do that a few more times as we grab some of these smaller flowers. You just go through this process. So, um, the last one I'll do with this is the biggest, right? The center, the center flower. I might get rid of that just to make it a little easier to access and let those fall down. This is heavy, right? So, on occasion, this guy won't be able to, won't be strong enough to be able to hold it, and we'll see what happens here. But typically, you want to be fairly gentle. I tend to want to clip up near the where the flower begins. But you can see that I actually held on to it pretty well. Um, right, so now you're getting closer to the plant, so it's, there's more risk associated with doing it with this method, but it's a common tool. So we simply go in, cut it off, and throw it in the bag. Um, it gets tougher as you get higher, and the other thing is, um, as you get up here, with these, some of these just don't have a big enough bite. Um, so you may have to do a couple of chops. You don't want the sap getting on you. Um, there's parts of this plant where there can be a lot of sap and almost pools. It's like a water. So whenever I cut something where I'm a little fearful that it'll spray out, and it's not under pressure, it's just a matter of splashing, I'll kind of cover it up so that if it does kick, it's hitting my gloves. Um, so it's a little more protective that way. Um, I can just put these over the bag and put them in. So, do the last one here. They just take that down. The less stem you put in the bag, the more room there is for flowers. So if you just cut that close to the uh, flower, it's best. These gloves are very important, right? They're protecting me from the sap. Uh, what I would expect you to be wearing is um, long sleeves, long pants, and some kind of boot that's a rubber boot that you can rinse off. You don't want to wear like a leather boot. Uh, it's, just, it's just harder to clean. Um, obviously, I've got safety glasses on, uh, which is really important because you never want this to go in your eyes. I've never had that situation, so I'm not all that fearful of it, but standard um, equipment is safety glasses.